Yes, got another book review for you. James Patterson's Four Blind Mice. It was an okay book, not a great book by any means. Uh, I read it right after I finished reading Make Me by Lee Childs. And uh, in comparison, it was it was not very good. Um, and I'm not sure if it really if it really wasn't that good. Maybe if I'd read them in reverse order, I might feel differently about it, but I don't think so. I think there's too many problems with Patterson's book. Well, not 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 serious problems. I mean, as as a story, it was okay. As a detective story, it was okay. There was there was nothing glaringly wrong with it. It was just not. It was just not that great. Uh, of course, Alex Cross is a protagonist. Uh, Alex has a friend, a police friend, a policeman friend, who has a friend in the military who's a sergeant who's been accused of uh, knifing three women to death in their home. And uh, he doesn't believe it's true. He gets Alex to help him. They go down. Views. Unfortunately, it's too late in the process because the guy's already been convicted. And so, you know, despite what you might think about, well, despite what the fact is about the modern time frame of capital punishment in this country, this guy is, this sergeant is executed in less than three weeks. It might have been 30 days. There's a three in there somewhere. Anyway, remarkably quickly, but by the time he's executed, Alex comes to believe that he was innocent. And so they continue the investigation. They get stonewalled by the Army, of course, because of the enmity between the FBI, or between law enforcement in general and the Army. The Army likes to do things in the house, blah, 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 you know, turf war kind of thing. Except that's never really explored. It's just kind of made hey, us the way it is. Uh, as, as the book unfolds, we find out that the main, sub, the main plot of the book is actually there's a group of three men who are going around killing people, and they're going around killing people because they're being paid to. They're all ex-army. They're all in Vietnam. They were part of a unit that went in to clean up uh, the mess that other army personnel left when they kind of went rogue and started committing atrocities. Uh, unfortunately, these three men uh, became the people that they were taken care of the ones they were going in to kill. They got used to that killing lifestyle and turned into those individuals, came back home, and those kind of individuals, they came back home and they didn't give up killing. And so they just liked to kill. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> and so uh, they're hired by this mysterious figure to take, you know, uh, who evidently has a list of everything that every American soldier ever did that ever did that was wrong in Vietnam, and they were they were picking they were they were framing them for murders that they didn't commit, but it was as a form of punishment. You know, instead of just killing them, that would have been too easy, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of yeah. It, it's kind of a you know a hard plot device to swallow, actually. Uh, so anyway. They're off. They're off the hook. They're off the chain. They're doing whatever they want to do. I mean, not only yeah, you know, they just they, they're habitual killers. Is what as the book progresses. If you want to read it, you'll find out. They just, especially women, especially Vietnamese women. Every if you're a Vietnamese woman in this in this uh, novel, you're dead. You end up dead. You end up with your throat slit. You end up shot or whatever. So uh, anyway. Um, I don't want to give away too much more of the plot than that. Uh, suffice to say that Alex Cross, I found him to be kind of dumb. Uh, he almost gets himself killed twice in the last five chapters of the book. I mean, you know, it's like... With his illustrious career, dude should be a lot sharper than he is in this book. And so I'm not quite sure why that happened. Uh, he's saved first by his friend and then second by these mysterious figures that appear out of nowhere. It's, it, you know, it's the guy who's behind the scenes orchestrating everything kills the guys who are going to kill Alex. And, you know, it's just a little too formulaic for me. The other thing I didn't like about the book was that there are three subplots. Uh, one is a romantic liaison between him and 
a detective, a female detective friend from San Francisco. They had met on a previous case at some point and somewhere. Uh, they end up getting married by the end of the book. There's also Alex's family life with his grandmother and his, and his children and how she's, you know, old and, you know, may not last much longer. And somehow that does sort of tie into the to the idea that this is going to be his last case and he's going to spend more time with his family. Except that whole subplot is undercut by the fact that he takes a job with the FBI by the end of the book. And then his friend, who originally came to him for help, uh, hooks up with with uh, one of the one of the wives of the of the men who was framed for murder. And so, and all those things are fine in and of themselves. The problem is they don't they don't do anything at all to advance the plot. They don't they don't advance the story. They don't explain anything. They don't provide any drama. They don't provide a foundation for any kind of plot twist. I mean, I was kind of thinking, okay, well, the killers are going to come after the, either Alex's grandmother or the or the other guy's girl, new newfound girlfriend or Alex's fiance to be. And none of that ever happened. And so you could take, you could really take all of those subplots out of the book and it really wouldn't make a hill of beans difference to the outcome of the story. Because everything about the investigation, it's like a self-contained story. And, and Patterson has just thrown in these extra things to just kind of, I don't know, just to kind of give a break from the main story. But they're not really, it's like they're parallel stories, but they're so parallel that they don't have, they, there's those stories don't meet with the main story. So what's the point is what I'm saying. So anyway, I don't recommend the book really because it's just kind of pedestrian, I guess is the word. I don't know. Formulaic, I guess is the word I'm trying to say. So anyway, if you'd like to read it though. It's not a terrible book. It, it's a readable book. I didn't have any trouble finishing it, so it was good enough to read through. But it, I mean, it wasn't good. It wasn't so bad. I said, I'm just not even messing with this. But it wasn't so good that I can sit here and say, Gosh, you've got to go out and get it. So anyway, that's my that's my review. James Patterson, Four Blind Mice. Sorry, James. Not your best work. I've read I've read your other bo other books of yours, and they're a lot better. So anyway. If you have any questions or comments, please do so in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do, and we'll see you on the next one.